Erickson Viking ship sailed to Duluth nearly 100 years ago. Incredibly, at least one eyewitness to that event is still around to tell the tale. And this week's Holding On To History, we hear from that witness and also track the 40-year effort to restore the old boat. One hundred and seven year old Norwegian immigrant Lily Halderson got a taste of home for her birthday in nineteen twenty seven. It was my tenth birthday and in the paper my mother read that the Viking ship was coming in. The forty two foot Viking ship replica was sailed from Norway to prove Leif Erikson could really have made it to America. Its arrival in Duluth in June nineteen twenty seven was a big deal. We walked down to the pier and it was just covered with people. You know, everybody out there, and they had Norwegian flags and American flags. Lily and her brother got a boost above the crowd by a kind stranger. Some men lifted both my brother and I up on the edge of the pier and hung on to us so we could see and wave at the sailors. My mother would have been shocked if she'd seen how close we were to the water. The Viking ship made it to Minnesota through the effort of retired engineer Ray Prevett's ancestors who laid down a fair amount of money. They got a first-class ride for the price when the boat stopped in two harbors. H.H. H. Borgen, my great-grandfather, and my grandfather, Thor Borgen, got on there and they were on the boat when it came through the ship canal. Businessman Bert Anger of Anger Tower fame bought the ship and put it on display in Leif Erikson Park. By 1985, vandals and weather had tag-teamed the boat into a rotting wreck. Duluth City Councilor Neil Atkins began a long drive towards restoring the vessel, which was slowed by vacillating political support over the decades. And I never thought it'd be a 40-year project, so longer than when I was on the City Council. I was only on the City Council for 18 years. The Viking ship is now located in the Knife River Heritage and Cultural Center. The restoration will finally be finished in the summer of 2025, and it's hoped then 108-year-old Lily will be there. She's as, as fit as a fiddle and snappier than heck, I'll tell you, at 107. Holding on to history in Knife River, Dave Anderson, Northern News Now. Oh, Dave, thank you. Let's hope she can make it there. That would be such a special moment. Now, the final steps of the Leif Erikson ship restoration include building a shelter in Knife River and then reattaching their dragon head on the bow of the vessel.